How's it going everybody? Little Joe from Back Bay Scale Customs. I figured I would do a quick update video. It is Sunday and uh, I actually have to go uh, fix uh, some fiberglass here in just a little bit. But I wanted to do this video right quick to show you guys a couple new kits. And I have been working on the Holland Hearse. And uh, this right here, I know it looks like the paint's bad. But that's all chrome. You know, all the, all the chrome is gonna, uh, all the bare metal foil is gonna is gonna soak that up. But y'all, let me know what you think. Uh, I had, uh, I I think Igor came by my house. He had Igor had to have because uh, there was little paw prints, uh, you know, on my porch, and I found some decals that I didn't even realize I had. But I think that uh, Igor must have come by and drop some off for me so I used a couple and uh, these decals here are actually come out of this kit this kit uh, doesn't look like much but you get a pretty decent decal sheet with this kit and uh, I figured there was enough to go around I could use what I wanted on here but this is a cool little kit a little Vicky uh, I've been wanting to do a rat rod and uh, that's cool and you know I might do it with this and and this here this truck here We've all been seeing it online for years, going for a hundred bucks or so, and just being way expensive. Well, no need to buy a hundred dollar kit anymore that's all brittle with bad decals because this is a brand new release, and I just picked it up. And yes, the cab, in case you're wondering, is off center from the nose. You know, it's it's that where your cab's cocked off to the right a bit or whatever. That that type truck. And I might use that for something. I have this idea. I was at uh, the Doc's house some time back, and he had showed me a uh, a rat rod, not a rat rod, a, a, a post-apocalyptic car that uh, was built from a truck frame and a van all chopped up and, and stuff. And it was very inspirational. So I've been gathering uh, some kits here and there to attempt something like that. Not to rip it off, but to... Uh, put some mojo in, in my area on it, but uh, y'all just tell me what you think guys uh, the Thing came loose so you can see more of all the the Wiring and stuff that I did uh, Well, you kind of could I don't know if it's gonna let you but uh, You know it's coming together slowly, but surely uh, it's an old kit and it's several different pieces you know I've got to deal with things like the back is broke out but I have the piece and it's been painted and it goes back in uh, a lot of little things like that this is just a very challenging thing for me to try to do um, and I, I wanted to do it just like what was on the box but that became very apparent to me that that's not gonna happen you know that the stuff is just too hard to get a hold of and I figured what the heck I'll just detail the crap out of it and I've got enough to have a rolling chassis with an engines so that's all I need to make the the Holland Hearst the Holland Hearst y'all let me know what y'all think about these decals I'm not too hot about this uh, but all this can still come off so uh, y'all let me know what you think if you like it good if you don't let me know give me some suggestions on something I might change to make it even better so check out these new kits at your local store and there's a bunch of new kits out really cool stuff so go check out your hobby lobby and and uh your, your local independent so i'm i'm joe from back bay scale customs we'll see you later